coming up next on Hooton's Arkansas Football. Hard-hitting highlights from the final week of the high school season, including the Saline County Showdown between Bryant and Benton, the 4A West title game between rivals Alma and Greenwood, plus the Battle of Rogers Avenue and Fort Smith between the Rebels and the Grizzlies. And as we head to the playoffs, Shiloh Christian is shooting for a fifth consecutive state title game. Highlights, pregame pep talks, postgame reaction, and the latest Hooton's rankings all in the next 30 minutes on Hooton's Arkansas Football. You make sure you're physical. A lot riding on the ball game. You get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. The regular season is over and we're headed for the playoffs. Hello and thanks for watching Hooton's Arkansas Football this morning. At a special time, normally Saturday nights at 6.30, we'll be back on our regular schedule beginning this coming Saturday. But thanks for tuning in this morning. We have highlights from the final week of the regular season. We'll tell you who made the playoffs, who didn't, some of the first round matchups, and of course highlights from a lot of great games on Thursday and Friday night coming up in the next 30 minutes here on Hooton's Arkansas Football, plus the latest Hooton's rankings and our Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week as we'll take you to Camden. All of that coming up in the next half hour here on Hooton's Arkansas Football and we'll get started with a look at Class 5A next. Hoot now, more of Hooton's Arkansas Football brought to you by Sonic. And we begin our Class 5A highlights with Cabot, which is again a number one seed headed into the playoffs. The Panthers lost their first game this year but have not stumbled since and made it a clean sweep of the East Conference with a win Thursday night at rival Jacksonville. Number 14, Adam. That's a good football team. The second half, they didn't run on us at all. Defense, you stepped up, make plays. Offense, good job. Here we go to the playoffs. Bryant will play next week at Cottonwood. The Rock Mills. Final score, Northside 30, Southside 7. Southside so good up front. We knew we had to throw the football. And, uh, you know, Ricky was getting a lot of pressure back there, hung in there, and found those guys wide open in the secondary. And, I mean, our kids got speed at wide out, and we just made some great passes. And, boy, I'm proud of Ricky. He needed that. Our team needed this. this just like Southside, Russellville and Cabot both have easy first-round games. Springdale against Texarkana will be the best matchup in the first round if Springdale can win on the road at Texarkana. The Bulldogs may be headed to War Memorial Stadium. High Bluff has to travel to Bentonville in the first round. Southside starts the second five, then it's Bryant and El Dorado. Conway's number nine and Central's number ten. Neither Benton nor Northside made the playoffs, but they're better than some teams that got in. Pine Bluff's 13, then it's Lake Hamilton. Mountain Home is in the playoffs, as is Mills and West Memphis, along with Little Rock McClellan. Van Buren's 19, and Jacksonville rounds out the top 20. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, Class 4A highlights, next. Now, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, brought to you by Lander. And we begin our Class 4A highlights in Hot Springs, where Thursday night, Pulaski Robinson had a 15-7 lead, and we're hoping to put away the Trojans with another score before the half. Junior Senator quarterback Clifton Matthews running the option to perfection. Five plays later, it's junior Chris Lewis taking the pitch and fighting his way, breaking tackles and dragging Trojans inside Hot Springs' 20-yard line. But when Hot Springs needed a big play, it got the big stop from Trojan junior Kyle Myers. Watch this. The tackle, the strip, and the recovery. But the Trojan celebration was short-lived as the senior Matt Hathcott takes the interception the other way for Robinson and the Senators pull away in the second half. Lasky Robinson's headed to the playoffs. Final score, Senators 38, Hot Springs 13. Moralton visited Searcy Friday night fighting for its playoff life, but the Devil Dogs bumbled their way through the first half with four straight turnovers. After the bad snap on a punt, Searcy capitalizes. Earl Young, 26 yards for the touchdown. Cody Chapman takes advantage of the next Moralton turnover. He sprints 20 yards for the score, and Searcy led 21 to nothing after Young did it again, racing to the corner of the end zone. 
Young finished with 172 yards rushing. Morrillton would rally in the second half and tie it at 27-27, but with six seconds left, Nathan Rutledge kicked a 39-yard field goal for the win. Morrillton, a preseason favorite to win it all in Class 4A, is done with the 5-5 record. Final score, Searcy 30, Morrillton 27. The high-flying Greenwood Bulldogs win Alma Friday night, playing the Airedales with the 4A West Championship on the line. But it was Alma's defense that stole the show, holding Greenwood to just one score and forcing five turnovers. Garth Goodwin's two-yard touchdown run gave Alma a 19-7 lead at halftime, and the Airedales go on to win another conference championship. Final score, Alma 26, Greenwood 7. Coach Kevin Stamp and the Hope Bobcats completed their first undefeated regular season in more than 40 years Thursday night with a win at Hot Springs Lakeside. Bobcat standout D.D. Hoeyfield already had three first-half touchdowns before Lakeside's quarterback Jeff Holt hits Adam Smith for this 13-yard touchdown. The rest of the night belonged to Hope, though. Defense shutting down the Rams the rest of the way and handing out the big licks like this smackdown by Bobcat Jerome Easter. On offense, Martez Floyd took over with 138 yards rushing for Hope, including this 45-yard sprint in the fourth quarter, and the Bobcats roll final score, Hope 44, Lakeside 6. We got a lot of work to do. I mean, we got a lot of improvements to do. The offense and defensive line and just offense and defense, special teams mainly. Neither Whitehall nor Mariana are headed to the playoffs. In fact, Mariana will take a 21-game losing streak into next season. Friday night, Whitehall's Terrence Nelson scored three touchdowns and ran wild on Mariana. And Whitehall's Eric Gatlin bulled his way in for a Bulldog score, too. The final, Whitehall 39, Mariana 6. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas football class 4A rankings. Hope is undefeated and number one. The Bobcats play host to West Helena in the first round and could play win in the second round. Alma's the king of the 4A West. The Airedales have won nine straight and play host to Newport. Osceola is the king of the East. The Seminoles only loss this year was a forfeit to Forest City. Cersei's number five, the Lions, will play host to Batesville in the first round. Monticello starts the second 10. They're the top seed from the Southeast for a second straight year. Arkadelphia's number seven. They're second in the Southwest. Then it's Stuttgart, Watson Chapel, and Greenwood. The defending state champs are headed to win next week. Pulaski Robinson starts the second 10. Then it's Batesville, Magnolia, Newport, and Siloam Springs. The Panthers are in the playoffs for the first time in six years. West Helena is number 16. Morrillton was the only team in the state to beat 5A West champion Russellville during the regular season, and the Devil Dogs didn't even make the 4A playoffs. Harrison's number 18, Cross at 19, and Malvern at number 20 with coach David Alpey retiring after 36 years and one state championship. Coming up next on Hooton's Arkansas Football, Class 3A highlights. And a little bit later, we'll take you to Camden for this week's scholar. Now, more of Hooton's Arkansas Football, brought to you by Arkansas Heart Hospital. And we begin our Class 3A highlights in Pine Bluff, where Dollarway is one of the classification Hornets 33, Lamar 7. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas football class 3A rankings. Warren is still on top, but the Lumberjacks had to fight for their lives against Lake Village Friday night. Dollarway's number two and Boonville's three. Boonville beat Clarksville by one point to win the four AAA Friday night. Pulaski Academy's number four, and there's Clarksville. Ashdown starts the second five. The Panthers were undefeated in the rugged seven AAA this year. Fordyce is number seven, then it's Dardanelle at number eight. The Sand Lizards are the number three seed from that four AAA and headed to grab it. Nashville has won four straight and could be headed to the semifinals. And Gosnell's number 10. Yellville Summit's at 11. Hamburg will be at Nashville in the first round. Prairie Grove is undefeated and plays host to Ozark in the first round. DeQueen is 14. There's Oak Grove. The Redskins are number 16. Pocahontas has won eight games this year. Brinkley will play host to BB in the first round. The Badgers have lost seven straight playoff games. Star City's at number 18. The Bulldogs are headed for Ashdown. And Rivercrest, with a 7-3 record, is the three AAA champs. Coming up next, more of Hooters Arkansas football, Class 2A highlights, including a look at number one, Shiloh Christian, next. We've been conference champs for six years. 
and after nine, it'll be seven years. Unbeaten, untested. Let's go win a football game. Now, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, brought to you by First Security Bank. Our season is just now starting. This is our time of the year, guys. <clears throat> this is our time of the year. Just make sure you remember that. Other teams start playing their second sport, we just get started. Remember that, guys. And last but not least, this is the last chapter in our legacy in the 1AA. We've been conference champs for six years, and after nine, it'll be seven years. Unbeaten, untested. Let's go win a football game. <laughs> That's Shallow Christian's first year coach, Chris Wood, talking to his Saints before they said goodbye to the 1AA Conference Friday night at Dragon Stadium in Mountainburg. The Dragons wanted nothing more than to burn Shallow on its way out of the conference as Mountainburg's Ben Vaughn gets loose, and that sets up the one-yard plunge by B.R. Welch, and Mountainburg led Shallow 6 to nothing. But the Saints got on track on their next possession as Rhett Lashley both one to James Schistler for the score, and the Saints pull away in the second half. The final, number one, Shallow Christian, 52, Mountainburg, 18. They are in the way of us being conference runner-up and hanging that sign on the wall with your name on it. That's Mountain Pine coach Jody Frazier on Thursday night talking to his Red Devils about winning at Jesseville and securing a first-round playoff game at home. But instead, the visiting Red Devils had their hands full against Jesseville. Sophomore Michael Meredith cuts up field for a nice gain into Mountain Pine territory. Six plays later, it's another sophomore for Jesseville, Blake Ellison, scoring on the short run. Mountain Pines' Leon Daniels gets some good blocking and adds the spin move on the Red Devils' first drive, but it would stall. And Jesseville comes back, threatening it again. It's quarterback James Miller sprinting untouched into the end zone. That gave Jesseville a 13 0 lead in the first quarter, and the Lions go on to win it. Final score Jesseville 27, Mountain Pine 14. Mayflower is headed back to the pit for a first round playoff game at Bogsite for a third straight year. The Eagles busted Bigelow Thursday night. Quarterback John Sanson heaves it to Herb Grigsby. That put Mayflower up 34 to 7. Later, Sanson finds his tight end. Aaron Dietz in the back of the end zone. Final score, Mayflower 48, Bigelow 21. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 2A rankings. Shallow Christian is still on top as we head to the playoffs. And Shallow is the top seed and will have home field advantage through the semifinals. Hampton, our number two team, is on the opposite side of the bracket from Shallow and will not have to leave home until the semis and maybe not even then. Camden Harmony Grove has a tough first round draw in Murfreesboro. Ryzen, the 7AA East number four team, heads to Mineral Springs. Mineral Springs has enough athletes to cover a spread offense, but there's not one in sight. Just defending state champ Ryzen in the first round. Carlisle drops from 5AA North outright champion to number three in their conference after a lopsided loss at Augusta, but the Bison have a better draw. Harding Academy was handed the top seed by Augusta. Now the Wildcats are staring at a very good opponent in the second round, and if they survive that, another trip to Shiloh Christian in the third round. Junction City, a former number two team in our poll, might not get past the first round at Foreman. Charleston rode, of course, through the 4AA. Danville, last year's surprise team, headed for Hampton in the second round. Barton starts the second 10, and you can bet Coach McClellan's Bears will not go down easily in the softest quadrant of the bracket. Foreman took the number two seat away from Murfreesboro in the 7AA West. Murfreesboro is headed to Red Hot Harmony Grove in the first round. Augusta whipped hard-running Carlisle, got whipped by Pass Happy Harding Academy. When is the next time Augusta would see a passing team? The state championship. Hazen's number 15. Desart pushed Barton Friday night but lost 24 to 20. There's Boxite, Greenland, Hector, and the Mark Tree Indians round out the Class 2A top 20. Now the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Nick Weaver is not just a three-year starter at offensive guard, he's also tops in his class at Camden Fairview, holding down a 4.2 GPA, which as you might imagine, is quite time consuming. I've got some pretty tough classes, i got a couple of AP classes that have to have a lot of time, so I have to do all that during the evening. I usually got at least one essay a week from English class 
couple from the biology class. But because he makes the most of his time, Nick Weaver is our Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Thanks a lot, Mark, and congratulations to Nick, our Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. And thank you for tuning in for Hooton's Arkansas Football this morning. Remember, Saturday night we're back at our regular time. Saturday night at 6.30, we'll have highlights of the first round of the playoffs. And we hope to see you then on Hooton's Arkansas Football.